In today's episode of Make It Happen Mondays, I'm going to show you how you can create these really cool motion track titles right inside Final Cut with no extra plugins needed. This is a really fun and simple way to make more engaging and creative titles for your own content. If you're new here, my name is Nick and here we talk about how to make your content better. So let's get stuck into the tutorial. All right, so here we are inside Final Cut and I've got these four clips that I had in the intro all ready to go so we can get started. Now let's start off with this clip here. So all we have to do is make sure it's selected, obviously, and then go up to our inspector window and then come down to the very bottom and you should see this trackers section. You've got a little plus icon. So let's just hit the plus and this will bring up this grid onto your actual video. Now what you want to do is basically get it in a position, the section of the video that you want to attach the title to. So for me, I want to attach it to this street down here. So I'm just going to scale it like so just to about there. And then I might even just rotate it. The streets on a little bit of an angle. That's looking pretty good to me. Now the key thing to look out for is just contrasty areas of the video. So we've got some high contrast here with this white car and this black car next to each other. So this tracking section should work pretty well. Now all I have to do is come up here and then hit this analyze button. Click on that and it will automatically select the tracking method and it will scan through the video usually pretty quickly. And just like that, we now have our tracking analyzed. So now if I mouse over, we should be able to see our tracking box moving with the video. But as you can see, it's moving around a bit. It's looking kind of wonky, which is not what we want. In which case, if you experience this, there's a few things to do. The first is to try changing the analysis method. So it's normally it's set to automatic by default, but you've got combined machine learning or point cloud. Now, if you choose combined, this is going to use a bit of machine learning as well as the point cloud method. Next, we've got machine learning, and this is generally best for more organic things that you're tracking. For example, faces or pets, moving objects, trees, that type of thing, things that aren't quite so rigid. And then we've got point cloud, and this is best for more rigid things that you want to track like walls or buildings, that type of thing. So this is probably going to be the best bet for tracking a street like this. So let's just select point cloud and then we'll reanalyze. So just click the analyze button once again. And then as you can see now, if we watch this back, it's much more solid. It's sticking right in position, which is what we want. So now we just have to add our title. So we can just add a basic title with control T. This is just going to add in a basic title. So I'm just going to make it the same length as the clip. And then I might customize the title a little bit. So let's just say new street. Now I'll change the font to my personal favorite, which is lemon milk. That's my favorite at the moment. Might make that a bit bigger. Let's make it bold italic. And I think that size is about right. So now that we've got the title formatted how we want, let's go back up to our video inspector and then down to our transform section. So just click this little square icon here, and this is gonna bring up a few options within our preview window. And a keyboard shortcut for this as well is Shift T. This will bring up the transform tools. And if you're interested in more Final Cut keyboard shortcuts, I've got a whole PDF that I've created down below with all of my most used keyboard shortcuts. And you can get it completely for free, so check that out below if you're interested. So you can see that these different options up the top have appeared. And here we've got Tracker. So I don't wanna click Tracker, I wanna click the little arrow next to Tracker. So let's click on that. And now we can see Tracker Source. And this is already selecting this little clip down here that we've applied our tracking to. But we wanna make sure the correct tracker is selected because you can have multiple trackers on the one clip. But because we've only got one object track done, we can see that right here. So let's just click object track. And now our title should be linked to our tracking. And as you can see, it already is, which is already looking pretty cool. If I play that back, it already looks pretty cool. It's very stable, but I do just wanna move it a little bit. So just click on your title once again. And then you can go into your transform tools and just move it like you normally would. So I just wanna move it onto the street, just move it up a little bit. Let's move it to about here. And I also want to rotate it a tiny bit just so it's in line with that street. Just like that, hit done. Now, if we play it back, as you can see, it literally looks like it's a part of that street, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's do another one. This is a little bit trickier because it's a bit more of a moving object. It's a little bit more organic. Same process, let's select our clip and then go to trackers, hit plus. Now, again, we wanna choose a high contrast part of the image. So I could track the entire drone if I want, but I actually kind of wanna track this little propeller section here. So I'm just gonna drag it over there and scale it down by holding shift. So I wanna make sure it's selecting this section. And this time I'm gonna try the machine learning object tracking method. Let's click analyze. 
Now, as you can see, what's happened is it's still looking pretty wonky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the analysis method just back to automatic, see what it does. Let's hit analyze. And as you can see, that actually looks a lot better. So that's the thing. Sometimes you really just need to try different analysis methods to see what works best for your particular clip. Sometimes you can't quite judge it. So now I'm actually going to add a pre-built title. So I've got some of these cool glitch titles, which I really like. And this one looks pretty good. So let's just drag and drop that over our clip. Got to make it the right length. That looks pretty good to me. Might just, once again, change the font to my personal favorite, lemon milk. Let's go bold italic once again. And it's the same process once again. So let's just go Shift T to bring up our transform tools. Hit the little drop down button next to the tracker. Make sure the tracker source is our clip. So this untitled clip right here is the correct one. And then hit object track in tracker. So that's now linked. And if we play it back, as you can see, that's even rotating with the clip. So I'm just gonna turn that build out off so we can see it a bit better. But as you can see, the tracking is even rotating because when you analyze a clip with an object track, it's actually tracking the position, the rotation, and the scale of whatever you're tracking. Now, for me personally, I actually don't want it to rotate. I just want it to stay level, but I want it to track the position. So just make sure your title is selected and then go up here to your transform tools and you can see these little gray squares that shows you where the tracking is applying keyframes automatically. But if we go up here to this little drop down menu, we can see that the tracker is being applied to the position and the rotation, but I just want it to be applied to the position. So let's just deselect rotation. And then as you can see, it is now completely level for the entire clip. Same thing again, I can just then adjust this to the right position that I want it to be in. Scale it down a little bit. That's looking pretty good. And then if we play it back, we now have our motion track title linked to the drone. Lastly, if you're looking for more advice on how to create a really well-produced YouTube video, then check out this video here where I share my entire editing process from start to finish.